All right, I'm a Matthew Charles Leifer. Go by my middle name, Charles. Just be difficult, you know? <laughs> uh, called there, I'm known by Zipper. Last couple years of my life have uh, been super busy for me. Started going to college at CSCC. At the same time, got affiliated with Sun River Fire Department. So I started going to Caldera, I believe when I was 10 years old. I didn't really know what I was getting into. You know, my parents were just saying, hey, you're going to this camp in the summer. And I was like, all right. Zipper came to camp with his older brother, Not. Very rambunctious boys, very seemingly confident boys. Uh, not as three years older, so he was always much bigger. And Zipper was slow to grow. They, they really didn't get along hardly at all for years. And uh, I mean, there was a lot of animosity there. Physically, my brother had a lot of power over me. I think mentally as well. For about six or seven years, we had this horrible relationship where we hated being around each other. We didn't see eye to eye on anything. Um, we fought, you know, it got violent with, between me and my brother. Uh, times where I wouldn't feel safe. I think photography, probably in a lot of the arts, probably the connect class, probably exploring the natural world in a more thoughtful and intentional manner, that helped those two very, very curious and creative young men articulate things in a way that maybe aren't always easy for uh, young men to articulate. The first time I saw, you know, my brother take this brother role on was that called there. You know, I was just being my goofy little self and someone made a stab at me, you know, like, oh, why are you doing that? That's weird. And not stepped up and was like, hey, don't say that. Let him express himself. You know, what's wrong with that? How does that affect you? I you know for me, that, that was a good feel. And that was, that was kind of the first time I felt I've got a brother, you know, and that was a big deal to me. The relationship with my brother, it, it seemed to do no good whatsoever. Like a fire, it seemed to just destroy everything in its path. But after that fire cleared, um, you know, kind of new life came from that. I don't know what it would be like if me and my brother were never in that fire stage where we hate each other, but I, I just have a feeling we would not be as close as we are today. I'm really proud of Zipper. When I see the man that he has become and realize what he wants to do in the world, I watched him grow from this very funny, exuberant boy to a really thoughtful, incredibly interesting young man. <laughs> Zipper, I tell people I want to be like him when I grow up. <laughs> I feel so lucky, not on wood. They're such great kids, great kids. My first like kind of aha moment, we were out doing ladder training at Sun River. This car drives by and this little kid leans out the window and he yells out, hi, Fio Fidos. He may be two, three years old. And to me, you know, this kid, he can't even tie his shoes probably, but he knows that he loves firefighters. And I love that responsibility that's put on my shoulders. You know, we're held to such a high esteem by the public. And that was a moment where I knew, you know, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. And since then, every day coming to work, I love it. You know, I love going to work. Uh, it's busy, you know, it's physically straining, but, uh, but I love doing it. And it, you know, it's what I'm gonna do the rest of my life, I know that. Caldera was saved in that, in that fire, and if they hadn't have been, and I hadn't returned, I, I can't say that I would. I, I don't know if I would be a firefighter.